Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to deploy a Quarkus MicroProfile application as AWS Lambda, Lambda with the CDK Cloud Development Kit and uh, write some metrics to CloudWatch using the uh, Power Tools for Java. So this is the CDK template. I'm going to use the Quarkus Lambda CDK plain template. And uh, Lambda Power Tools, we are going to use this um, to write the metrics to CloudWatch. Okay, now start with the project. And um, this is going to be set up Quarkus Lambda project, which basically copies the, the template. And let's call it Power Metrics. The application is going to be called Power Metrics. So we have there are two parts, CDK, and in the CDK part, it provisions the application. So uh, using a single stack uh, called Lambda stack, and it runs on a half a CPU, and I would like just to change the name of the function to uh, power metrics. So, and we could also configure the application using env, env entries here. Okay, now back to the business code. And what we have to do, we have to install a logger and a metrics logger and the logger ships with the lambda power tools and um, we need exactly one dependency it's called power tools metrics so let's pick the dependency and add it to quarkus and uh, we don't need the quarkus json logging so i will just add it here yeah and now we can use the logger so take a look at the code this is a JAXRS application with some injection, and we have the get request is going to be answered by this method. And I would like to write the metrics in the greetings here. Okay, so take a look at the sample code. So it ships here in the metrics section. And uh, what we need is just the logger instantiation. And here we write here the method. Okay. Now, the uh, metrics logger, we only have to import the metrics logger. And uh, it doesn't have to be static because the entire class is already application scoped, which is a singleton. So it could be static, but it doesn't have to. I would like to change this method to uh, post construct. So it is going to be instantiated once at startup. And we can actually add here additional dimension. We don't need the parameters. So this is and now call it um, init metrics. So void init metrics is going to be called once. And the metric itself, I would like to move to here. And uh, what we need here is one flash. Because otherwise, the metrics are buffered and are not immediately visible. Now, one unit, and we need a dimension, which is additional data and one bracket too much so looks good not successful booking rather than uh, get message okay now we have it so there is one invocation one count and we have the dimension which is set up and what we also could do we could set up the um, we could set up the dimension and the service name in uh, environment entries so we'll skip for skip that and um, and just use the default. So we could also pass the power metrics namespace and power to service name in the CDK here and in, in the map. Okay, so let's deploy the application. And uh, so I would like to use a script called build and deploy, don't ask. Okay, so what's up in the console? So there is still empty, so there is nothing. And uh, hopefully after the deployment, we will see a Lambda, then call the Lambda and try to find the metrics in CloudWatch. So the entire deployment takes uh, 70 seconds to uh, one and a half minutes. It really depends. And the initial deployment is slower because the HTTP API gateway as well as Lambda and the integration have to be set up. Subsequent deployments are a little bit faster, roughly 45 minutes. So let's wait until the uh, Lambda is deployed. So, okay, the deployment is successful, so let's invoke the Lambda. Um, let's use the output generated by the stack here, which is, yeah, hello. And uh, the first invocation usually is slower. No, this is always slower. It is the cold start, takes roughly three to five seconds, uh, but subsequent invocation have to be faster, and they are. So take a look 
in the console. So uh, reload, and we have our Lambda, and the Lambda and the Monitor tab, we should see, or not yet, already see some metrics. Usually uh, it takes a while until they are visible. And But more interestingly, there's a view logs in CloudWatch. By the way, I forgot something crucial. We need to, no, we flush that. I thought I forgot the flush. Okay, so back to the CloudWatch. And uh, what we see here is the stream, which is a file per Lambda within the log group uh, AirHex power metrics. And inside the stream, I expect to see something interesting. So this is, as you can see, there's something with underscore AWS. And this is a specific um, embedded metrics format, which is uh, understood by, um, which is parsed by uh, CloudWatch. And the metrics is here, get message one, this is the counter. You see the dimensions and our dimension is here, the environment and environment demo, sorry. This, these are the dimension value and we have the namespace, default namespace, AWS embedded metrics. So let's see whether this metric is available. Switch to all metrics. We see here AWS embedded metrics. So it is and uh, switch to here. This one metric, environment demo. This was, this was the dimension. So um, let's graph the metric and uh, what we can do is we can say average a little bit boring but uh, what about the uh, sum or let's see whether I will see something with the uh, sample count and uh, let's use here a number and as you can see there are six invocations and of course there could be a line but I think we are it takes a while until this is visible, but the number was good. So we see already six invocations. And of course, we could use now alerts and um, and uh, escalate them. Um, usually, we wouldn't just count methods. What we would count is like, you know, the state of the business component or a class or uh, the amount, you know, of, of errors which happen during a more sophisticated algorithm. But I think now is a, you see how easy it is to write metrics to CloudWatch directly from MicroProfile Quarkus application running on AWS Lambda. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, AX Live workshops, or even projects. So thank you and bye.